Hey doll fans, it's Tuan Solo here, and in honor of May the 4th, our show today is from a galaxy far, far away. Today, we'll catch you up on this past weekend, plus let you know what our rookies will be doing later this week, all on Dolphins Daily. Sunday was a busy day with both the Million Mill Pack and Cheerleader Finals on the same day. Dolphins teamed up with AARP Foundation and more than 5,000 energetic fans, including some of our own players, to pack one million meals. The festivities include music, food trucks, and lots of fun. It's a great group of people and uh, just uh, proud to be a part of it and want to thank AARP Foundation for making it possible because uh, everybody out here today is changing lives in South Florida today. We also held the final auditions for the 2016 Miami Dolphin Cheerleaders at Nova Southeastern University. 40 women were selected as training camp candidates after more than 800 registered, including ladies from Argentina, Mexico, Colombia, and even Brazil. Congrats to all those that made it. The entire rookie class will be showing up at camp this weekend for the first time. You may have heard on Dolphins Daily and around the nation, we are taking a pretty unique approach on rookie minicamp with no actual practices. That means these guys will work with different muscle groups over the next couple of days. Seems pretty cool. We've got a lot planned for them, and we caught up with the director of player engagement, Caleb Thornhill, to tell us what's different about this year's rookie camp. I think the education piece is the most important. The guys that attain the knowledge the fastest, act the quickest, can become a pro faster. And that's what we're trying to get them to do is just help them understand how all of our support system within the organization can help them reach their full potential. We also had a chance to catch up with tight end Jordan Cameron. He told us all about his offseason and his thoughts on this upcoming year. There's a lot of tempo in this offense. It's very fast paced and it's, it's kind of goes to our skill sets as a position group with tight ends, receivers, running backs. And I think it's, it's definitely going to be a benefit for us. And there's just a lot going on. I mean, there's a lot of routes that get guys in positions to win. And, and Coach Case is obviously one of the most, one of the best offensive minds in football. And so we trust him and we have confidence in him and Clyde. I have had a routine for the last five, six years, and I, I stick with that. I play a lot of basketball. Uh, I do the same weight training, really, and it's, it's a lot of movements that are, you know, it's, it's transitions well to the football game. Well, that's it for today, and remember to stay tuned to Dolphins Daily for your exclusive Dolphins access. And don't forget, single game tickets went on sale today. I'm Tuan Russell, and may the 4th be with you.